Time to be the React champ I was always meant to be. What? I... A video on why does no one play Greninja, followed by an MK Leo making Greninja look godlike. We'll do this one first because it's the only thing that I. Oh, you can't even see it. We'll do this one first because it's the only thing I kind of have to wear headphones for. So who's this? I don't even know who made this video. I didn't steal Vars' idea. He hasn't made a video on Greninja. Plus, Greninja's my main. And if anyone knows the character better than anyone... Stealing content rules, dude. I don't know who Vars means, but I am more confident than I know... I thought you were saying Mars for a second. Videos. I was like, huh? Anyways, if you're new to this channel, welcome. This no, Jar, you can't. This Smash Bros. gameplay and storytelling. Without further ado, let's begin. Everyone agrees with the fact that Greninja is a solid high-tier character in Smash Ultimate. But there are little to no. Do people like like think that Greninja is like top ten? That Europe and Japan think very highly of this character. Listen to Akula say that he is top three. Top three is Gekoga. Oh, oh what's going on? So like, <laughs> what's, going on? Video, what's going on? What's going on? I think the main reason that a lot of people do not play Greninja is because Greninja has an insanely high skill gap. There is a five an insanely high skill gap. Greninja, which I highly recommend you check out if you want to learn how to play Greninja. And that just goes to show you that this character is not easy. And it's not nah, Greninja is easy. What? Players want something that's simple, effective, and easy to learn straight away. That's why you don't see characters like Greninja being that common in today's meta. I mean, every character is hard at top level, obviously. Shield options. But Greninja is simple, dude. Ability Greninja has. You really don't need to shield that much. And with that, let's get into his mobility. When it comes to mobility, Greninja is top 10 in various attributes. 4th fastest walking speed, 8th fastest run speed, 10th fastest air speed, 9th fastest falling and fast fall speed. That boy fast. Just dash stack will make a left. Has the second highest hammer. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I have gotten punished for dash attacking in neutral. So please, do not use dash attack in neutral. Hada. Use the move when you see your opponent throw out a laggy option. If you want to play proper neutral with Greninja, use aerials and water shurikens. My personal favorite is Nair into jab, since Nair is minus three on shield. Oh, we got and numbers out here. As a way for Just win. It's simple. True. What's up, sis? Overuse it at How's it going, Masters? Did you guys hear the buzz that's going around? That's right, the Panda Cup is happening this December 15th through 18th, which is also my birthday weekend, and it's completely free to enter. I know, it's crazy. Yeah, you gotta be in the LA area because that's where the tournament's going on, but I'd love to see you guys there. You can sign up at pandacup.com, and you know what else you can find there? Sweet deals on hotels. Traveling is expensive. There's gonna be prizes, giveaways, milk, and I even heard that Masahiro Sakurai is coming through. Don't quote me, and if he's not there, you can't get mad at me because I just heard it from a guy who heard it from a guy. Check out pandacup.com for any more information that you guys want, but without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, Shadow Sneak, aka Side B. To make a long story short, this move sucks. This move is only used when you want to style on your opponent. Yeah. That's you not true. Side B, it really sucks. It's really good for calling out so if you're really good at specials. placing it. It's safe I do think it's a bad move though. It has one of the most unique counters in Smash Ultimate. It can be aimed anywhere and cause opponents a big confusion. This sounds like the I number 15 Burger King foot lettuce movie. guy. Number 15 Burger King foot lettuce. I just wish it was like the counter of Fire Emblem characters, but that that would be too busted. Let's be honest. That's literally an optimal use of I side B there. I love this move. Even though I SD multiple times trying to get tricky with my recoveries, Hydro Pump is just a fantastic tool for mix-ups and sometimes silly kills. If you have the... How silly of a kill are we talking here, dude? <laughs> that was a silly kill. And to conclude, because I don't want to be here all day, pivot grab. I do not know why Greninja has a humongous pivot grab. A huge chungus. I'm not complaining. Just look at the range it has. He needs it. Actually, his grab is now, mid. Let's take a blast of the past and then come back to the present. 2019 was a year where Greninja was thriving in the meta. Lots of representation from various players all over the world. 
The majority of people who watch Greninja VODs usually say that watching Greninja is fun and exciting. Everything was fun and exciting when the game came out, though. When did this game come out? Volume's a bit low, I'll turn it up a little. I don't really need to talk much about online. You already know how everyone feels about Ooh, Smash Bros. I like that. But then, something truly unexpected happened. I forgot he had a grand... Till this day, I still cannot believe that the best player in the world decided to play Greninja. As far as I've understood, MKLeo was streaming one day and someone gifted 30 subs and told him, play Greninja. And honestly, whoever <laughs> you are that gifted them the 30 subs, thank you, honestly. Thank you. All the Greninja mains salute you. Eventually, Leo <laughs> played the, the character so much and got confident enough to use it in an online tournament. Leo was a, gr a Joker main. He played Greninja, but he was a Joker main before the online era. And Greninja and Joker are such similar characters. <laughs> it's just Leo being down oh, Greninja two. Had sin. Again, though, I cannot stress enough how shocked and excited oh, you got a game. I was to see MK Leo, the best player in the world, play my main. It truly made 2020 a year to remember for me in Smash. Greninja was. Why is it like sad music? Put to rest. Like Leo died. Here, like. Greninja. What a baby. Greninja can be back emotionally touched like by a character selection, truly, really, dude. It's only <laughs> she's about to cry. Doesn't believe in okay, Leo, pick my maid. But hopefully, with time, the top Greninja player can appear again. And I'm not counting Venia because he doesn't. I feel like they've only stated like Greninja carries, bro. One in top tier. True. Thank you for watching this video. Click on these two videos to check out my latest videos. Please. I feel like they only stated like one reason as to why people don't play Greninja and yeah it's because he's campy and he's not he's he's like viable banjo and here's and I don't mean in play style in any way because what I mean by that is like actually no he's not like banjo I take that back banjo is hard to play and there's no reason to play him because put that amount of time into any other character and you'll succeed Greninja is just like you have to camp pretty hard to play it like a top level. And that's not very fun. And he's a pretty mind numbing character. I have fun with him, but I also haven't made him for X amount of years or whatever. Two minutes of that was dedicated to Leo. Did they put him in the thumbnail? I hope so. That's how you clickbait. Where is it? No, he didn't even put Leo in the thumbnail and he talked about him. Oh, he did in this one. Yeah. He's uh he's not as good as people think. I think he's a high tier like people say, but he's a super campy high tier.